Hi, I'm Brand, and I love Up TV Christmas movies. Hi, I'm Jax, and I like Up TV Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and Up TV Christmas movies exist in the world. <laughs> I'm Dan. I love the troops. So I want to remind everybody. And I despise up TV Christmas movies. And this is the Deck, Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark. It's this podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. Well, hello everybody. Oh, Happy Monday. Yeah. A new week, a new batch of movies to talk about, Dano. Can mm. you believe it? Yep, every week. That's how it works. <laughs> I can believe it. But can you believe that it's we're <laughs> well, in the Christmas? A and- thousand plus episodes in, I can believe. But yes, it is a different type, you know. We we work all year long around here. We have a lot of fun at Deck the Hallmark. We but, work but come the holiday season long. after Halloween. It's it's crazy. It just is pick insanity. It up, it up. Yeah. And we're watching a lot of movies and and some of them are the one we're going to talk about today. That's true. And you know, but I will say this, it it always makes me feel centered to have this gang to start the week. I do like this game. This is a good this, gang. This this, you know, it's this a good gang is to start a good week. way to kick it off because you have some highs and lows with Hallmark. Yes. And the Santa Summit though. Did you see it, Jax? Oh, no, I actually didn't see it. Was it great? It's great. It's really good. It's a great one. It's yeah, really good. It's a great one. Okay, I have to see <laughs> yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, oh, Dan, the way you smiled it's, made me uh, feel like... Oh. It was, it's the best of the year, uh, for sure, uh, so far. Yeah. He's Not, been in a good mood ever since he saw it. Close. And Brian, on the other hand, is struggling from a Christmas period. No, I'm standpoint. not struggling. We He's don't struggling. need to. Okay. This is not need to Dave, carry over this week. This is not Dave need to White carry is, is still confused by his feelings about just half watching the Santa Sun, but as I was watching it, because yeah. he was like, this is... This seems good. Well, What's I, happening it, here? And I, when it started, I was worried they were going to ruin it. When it started, I was like, oh, they're going to screw this up. The first 10 minutes, I was like, they're going to mess this up. And then it becomes really fun, madcap. Yeah. Like, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a really solid. Have you, have you done SantaCon in New York, Jax? Um, I have witnessed the aftermath of SantaCon, <laughs> and it is a sight to behold. So, like I remember one morning I saw like a still drunk girl like laying against the side of a building, <laughs> one shoe on, like a, a Santa hat askew <laughs> on her head and like ripped tights. And I was like, oh, <laughs> she uh, had a night. And you don't know this, Jax, because uh, we announced it on the pod and it probably just aired today or yesterday. I don't know. My days are all messed up. But we're going to SantaCon this year. Uh, we're we're not going. We're 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 not going to Christmas Con. Well, we were inspired. We're not we going were, to Christmas wait, 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 Con. Are you being serious? We're being serious. We're flying into Laguardia with our Santa suits on on the airplane. H- Higbones, Higbones is picking <laughs> us up at Laguardia, driving us straight to SantaCon, and we're going to do Santa. Jax, are you in? Wait, wait, wait. When is it? When is it's it? It's you're at Christmas Con. But, uh, is she? I don't know. It's the Saturday of Christmas Con. And then oh, we're gonna, and then goodness. after after Santa Con, we're gonna go back out to the double decker dinner Saturday night with all the double deckers. That, wait, 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 that wait, is no. genius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you realize that Santa Con is it, it, what Santa Summit is to cookies. Santa Con is to shots, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna we're gonna. The Santa all, Summit was a very hallmark version of Santa Con. <laughs> we we got this. We're, we're oh, okay. <laughs> Alonzo, I really appreciate you didn't just say what it is, you know, to drinking like you're right. It is shots like you. The specificity of that, like, I hope you guys are gearing up. Well, There's a lot of like eggnog and stuff in Santa Summit. No, the shots. This is going to well, be shots. We, obviously, Santa Con starts at ten in the morning. Our flight doesn't get there till twelve. <laughs> we're, we're not going to be full Santa Con participants. So you'll have catching up to do all day. Or long. we'll be pre gaming. We are we'll, flying uh, up on we're uh, flying on spirit. spirit. So spirit Sing. will have the yeah. Keep, keep them, them coming, coming, spirit. Spirits on spirit. I spirits loved. Spirit. I loved Alonzo's reaction to us going to Santa Con. It was. I didn't know that he didn't know either, and he was. Like, I did what? not. Whoa! Well, when you when you're not going to Christmas Con, you you make the most out of it, and you you go to Santa Con. You know. Tell what I mean? me, you will have a full time videographer following you mm-hmm. everywhere. Uh, producer Aaron's going to be there. So okay. we'll, we'll see how that we'll see how that. I goes. need documentation. She'll still yeah. have fun though. She'll yeah. get to. Yeah. Yeah. 
She's not her. She's not going to be the de- designated. The angle is getting more canted as we're, the day goes on. We're picking, like, out, Branna. we're picking out different Santa outfits so we don't all look alike. That would be embarrassing. And we <laughs> oh, no. And uh, Aaron's already picked herself out a cape, one of those Santa capes, nice. like uh, Hunter King, like wears. in the movie. In yes, the movie, sir. yeah, yeah. it's a great cape. No, Hunter, not Hunter King. The other yes, one, the uh, um, uh, Annie, I believe in that yeah, movie. Sure, lots of Annies this week. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. Let's talk about. The first up TV movie we've watched this year, uh, sure. Christmas Time Capsule. Their Christmas crop has begun. They have movies uh, every weekend, I believe, uh, two every weekend. I might I might be wrong there, but it's it's about that. Um, and here is a Christmas Time Capsule. It originally aired last night, so wow. we we're fresh we, off. We watched yeah. it and we came in and we said. Let's record That's tonight. Right. Uh, we don't want <laughs> any time to pass us by. Um, November 12th, 2023, and it went a little something like this. It's 10 years ago, and we see uh, a girl putting stuff in a time capsule that says, Do not open for a decade. <laughs> Very specific time and date. Uh, fast forward, we see that this girl is now an adult. Her name is Tiffany, and uh, she gets a knock at the door, and it is her army friend, James, James of Army, and um, she is kind of in love with James and has been her entire life and she thinks that James is about to tell her that he's in love with her because of all of the you know signs that they anyway he when you is love not someone, you want to kill them. he is in love with uh, a girl named Ashley uh, also from army I believe and wants to propose to her um, now here's the snack. He does have a engagement ring. It is the family heirloom, grandma's engagement ring. You got to put that someplace safe. So you know? when he does, when he went to army, he gave uh, the engagement ring, the family heirloom, <laughs> to Tiffany to hold on to, and Tiffany then decided, best case, here is what I should do: is put it in the time capsule without like asking or telling or anything like that. Um, he's not happy about this, but he's like, no problem, I guess, because you can just get it, right? Like, and, he, and she's like, it's actually back home. And he's like, okay, call your mom and tell her to get the ring and get it to us. And she's like, I'm not going to do that. There's a lot of like sensitive stuff in the time capsule, and I would be embarrassed for my mom to see that. So road trip. Road trip. Let's road trip to the time capsule. And so they hit the road. They stop at an alien thing. <laughs> alien ant farm? Alien ant farm. Are you um, okay? And uh, they then stop at a hotel. They do the thing where they put the, the sheet uh, down the middle to separate them. Despite also being in separate beds, don't ask, don't tell. They do still have <laughs> plenty of conversations looking at each other, but the curtain is there. Um, and she, she actually wakes up in the middle of the night. He's having like a dream and uh, is uh, like talking and making noises. And so he like she wakes him up and is like, hey. Are you okay? Like, let's stay up and watch Christmas movies. And then she promptly falls asleep, which he thinks is cute, judging by the little smirk on his, uh, his face. He and Throughout this uh, little road trip, he's talking. He's calling up his girl, uh, which I know the name of her, but Dan, Ashley. what's her name? And uh, Ash, is that true? Wow. Yes. Very nice. Got him. And, I remembered um, her because I want to see her in another movie. There you go. <laughs> and so uh, they are uh, talking on the phone and all that good stuff. And so they get home and can't find the time capsule, uh, which is uh, uh, unfortunate. But it does give them more time to like hang out. Yeah. For some hangs, hangs and hangs and whatnot. Yeah. And... Um, Eventually, uh, Ashley shows up. Ashley shows up. And from, uh, from Army. No from tension yeah. here. At one point, um, she's getting ready to tell James that she does love uh, him out, you know, as they stand um, on the side of the road watching a bunch of people run. She said, Now's the time. She d- chickens out. D- she does say it, but gets interrupted by a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Um, so her mom finally uh, brings the time capsule. Mom's had the time capsule this whole time. And she's like, hey, you should uh, really think about telling uh, James. And she's like, I don't know. James is in love with this girl. Opens up the time capsule. And 
she discovers inside the time capsule a <laughs> note that was written by James. A note that she has never read before because James says, like, handed it to her and said, don't read it yet. And yes. so she took that to mean time capsule and uh, opens it up. And it's James, like, professing his love. <laughs> To her and and uh, it's just like what this is crazy and so uh, they finally uh, uh, he's like hey I didn't know about this note and like he gets mad and stuff but ultimately he breaks up with Ashley and they go to the best place to look at the city lights. Um, <laughs> which is in the middle of the woods. And they finally talk about how they love each other. And uh, they they kiss <laughs> like I don't like I don't know how this ended up on up TV. And at, like they this is pornographic. This kiss is insane. And then he proposes to her. And she says yes. And that, my friends, was the Christmas, Christmas Time Capsule. capsule. Uh, it's good to be over and up. Before we just just dump barrels of trash on this movie, which I get the feeling we might do, if that kiss was Tyler Hines, you would have literally I, not stopped talking about it. For the, I, I cannot believe it is the that kiss I'm, of the year that the kiss of the year is coming from Up TV. An absolute massive kiss. This Did should not go, see that coming. Yes, the Deckies right now, leader in the clubhouse for kissing big. I don't ones, think is from Up TV. I don't think Up TV has won a Decky before, so this could be the first. It this would be, be un, pretty, it would be unprecedented. But right big. now, I can't because Hallmark wouldn't air something like that. Hallmark <laughs> TVG. <laughs> They have morals. Up doesn't care about Hallmark family. has morals. <laughs> yeah. Faith and, and family. That's yeah. right. Faith oh, and family. It's all yeah. about. That's right. uh, let's take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll break this movie down here on Deck, Deck the Hallmark. Hallmark. Welcome back, everybody. We're talking about Christmas Time Capsule aired last night on Up TV. For those of you that are listening here on Monday, uh, let's break it down. We don't want any time to waste. After that kiss, we said we got to record this yeah, now. Immediately. Uh, <laughs> so we uh, all got together. Let's share our hot takes where we talk uh, about what we thought of the movie. We share it and we do not hold back. Jax, what'd you think of Christmas Time Capsule? Well, out of the gate, I just want to say, as you guys know, but I feel like I, I just need to reiterate, I love, love up TV. I love making a movie for them. Love, loved it. And I want to make a Christmas movie for them next year. So you guys, I, I'm here for you. I had fun watching this. I was delighted by a lot of it, but I am, I've never been as terrified by a, a man in a movie as I was of JJ. I started watching it and I was like, Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like I understand like he was in the army. Maybe he's dealing with some PTSD. Like I have a massive respect for veterans. Don't get me wrong. My dad loves the troops. We love the troops. We love the troops. Love the troops. But I, I don't understand how he got two very charming women. Ashley played by a woman named Lindura. She only has one name and that's how you know that. Oh, yeah, that's how you know. That. That's BA. That's um, right. I'll, I'll get into her more in my All the Feels. We've had <laughs> um, Emily Alatola. Same, Jax. Same. Right, right? Oh, wait. So, again, yeah, because you said you Same. wanted to hear another movie. Yes, right? so absolutely. Um, and I feel like, Emily, I think you say her name, Alatola. I, guys, were you getting Aaron Cahill vibes from her? Sure, I can absolutely. see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah. I thought she was very charming i but i just i was baffled at i thought he was like a serial killer level creepy um except for the last scene where i was like there are some great acting some kissing big ones he seems gentle i get it all i could have used more of that throughout the movie you, i have a so hard much so that you, you never text us any opinion before him but no, you sent never. to the group text <laughs> i'm afraid of this dude <laughs> that's how you know you guys obviously i love you guys i love well no i love you guys i don't love love you guys yeah we gotta to make, make clear that clear what this movie talks about yeah. um but <laughs> you guys make me feel safe and i was watching this alone and i was like i am not feeling comfortable <laughs> yeah 
You know, a skull no, man find thing. a safe place. Yeah. Um, Alonzo, what do you think? Well, I would give this movie credit for taking some big swings. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a PTSD induced nightmare in a cable Christmas movie before. And that you was still <laughs> have That was new and different. Um, the I guess I guess that was supposed to be Roswell. Is that what sure? We were Leave. I, okay, so the whole UFO thing is like, all right, this is a set piece. Like the, the some 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 art deck set deck had to go into this. Uh, but it was also the kind of movie where when they get home, I'm like, wait, we're only halfway done. Not even. <laughs> like, yeah, not I even. We, I thought we were like winding this sucker up, and it was like <laughs> we were 30 minutes in. I was like, oh boy. So yeah, pacing. I guess would be an issue. And, and of course the, you know, I, I have so many wait, what's that are just specifically about Los Angeles and the descriptions thereof, <laughs> uh, that we'll get to. So, I mean, look, we just, we just watched the Christmas venue and had to fall in love by the holidays. So in the grand scheme of things, I have recently seen worse. <laughs> there you go. This when we when we um, talk about Hallmark movies, lots of times we talk about how it started off really strong and then it kind of petered out and then reverse like, you know. reverse. It. This was the reverse of that. Where the first scene of this movie, I was concerned for the safety of everyone on set, and <laughs> I, I I was like, we're supposed to believe that these two people are best friends of ten plus years. The type of friends that ten years ago you hand your family heirloom to this person and say, keep it safe for me while I'm an army. And th th that first scene, you're just like, these two people, like something is going to go terribly wrong. And then like a movie kind of gets going and I, I start to enjoy myself. And then that kiss at the end of this movie is insane. It should be illegal to put that on TV. I'm actually with the uh, one million moms here. And I, I, I cannot believe what I saw up TV. Apparently we need to watch all of them now because if their kisses like that, Sheesh. we have to cover them. Uh, an absolutely phenomenal ending of this movie. Cannot believe that he proposed at the end, but I guess what can you like, what are you supposed to do? He has the ring. You know, that ring was originally like two days meant for someone else, but who yeah, cares? Not important. Now it's on your finger. You go girl. Yeah. I kind of enjoyed myself a good bit. Uh, once this movie finally got going, Dano, uh, this is the best Ryan Pavey's ever ever been in one of these movies um <laughs> that that is a joke brought to you in part by producer aaron shea um so i want to give credit i i fine-tuned it a little bit but that's pretty much aaron's joke and i loved it very much so there you go uh yeah this guy's a mass murderer uh he he is um, he, he's like, you know, in Barry, the HBO show, how Barry's a serial killer that goes to acting classes. He's like Barry that didn't go to the class. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the end of this movie is on like the sparks are everywhere at the end of this movie there. It's insane. The kiss in this movie is bonkers, but the rest of this movie Oh my goodness, felt like a movie we'd watch live at Bramblefest. Like every line this guy says, the fact that you put an engagement ring and a note you've not read from someone that tells you to read it later into a time capsule and then to not date the time capsule specifically on the date you're supposed to open. Like, the movie, a decade. Like, no one in this movie's ever seen Army, ever been to Army, ever heard of Army. It is wild. It, all expenses were spared. All expenses were spared to make this movie. And then they kiss at the end, and you're like, dang, that kiss is leading somewhere. And the rest of this movie is trash. That's all I got. Uh, it's time for all the feels where we talk about one of those movies uh, have feels, Christmas feels, or uh, the other. Uh, Jax. I, I had quite a few feels. I will say the Christmas feels in this one, it felt very cozy. Um, Christmas was everywhere. I enjoyed that aspect. I want to talk about Lindora, Ashley's big brown eyes. Oh, my goodness. She is gorgeous. I have a crush on her. I just was like, I want to watch those big doe eyes all day long. Um, and then, obviously, the, the kids, which I think we've. <laughs> covered um and then the other um the other big feel that i had was that 
when the ornament comes out and it actually says James and Tiffany and the subconscious is the window to the heart. I loved that woman at the Roswell pop up situation. I thought she was really cute and funny um, while he like pitter pattered around and didn't know what to say. So that that can be some feels, too. I guess I just I have one more feel that's like a like a giggle feel. I don't know if you guys caught this or if I was just having the kind of mind that I have. But when the dad said (laughs) about the mom, she invited me in to taste her holiday baking. And since then, I've been her official taster. I could (gasps) not stop laughing. I could not stop. Like laughing out loud alone, (laughs) which is very, I laugh a lot, but usually with other people. And I like supporting, you know, getting the feels going. But it's very rare that I laugh out loud when I'm alone. And that's why their marriage is still going strong. That is friend of the show, Randy Thomas, delivering that line. He's been on our oh, program before. He's amazing. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he has. He is something, man. He, he killed is, it. Yeah. There an interesting go. follow. <laughs> yeah, um, an interesting social media Instagram follow. Alonzo? Uh, well, Real Snow, which yes. I never take for granted. Lo- lo- loved that. Uh, I loved, I didn't pick up on the whole um, <clears throat> taster part, but I will say <laughs> the entire dad's reminiscence about meeting the mom, I thought was quite lovely. Like, it, I, I, it was, I mean, obviously not remotely in the same league, but it, it serves the same function that... Um, Mr. Bernstein and Citizen Kane talking about seeing the girl on the ferry with the white parasol. And we just compared Christmas time capsule (laughs) to Citizen Kane, everybody. Sound the horn. Citizen Kane. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I've seen one of those movies. Uh, Oh, great. It it, it served a similar function. I thought it was a very lovely (laughs) moment, and they captured it very well. I will say this Um, about Randy Thomas, because we both said great. You both have said great things you know chris plaha talks about wrinkling the page all the time and how they want to make their character the specific randy thomas wrinkles the page and everything he's in but it's all like he should get to do this more like mm. he and, and he's probably i think he'll probably listen to this randy should get to do this role more because he's really good at it and yeah. so many times they just get stock uh fathers from canada to come in and do these parts yes. and read the lines and he Randy is great, and if he played a different one, he would have a different character completely. And I, I think he should get more opportunities. A lot like one Jacqueline Collier. If, if uh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. At <laughs> one point, he was a body Wait, double no. for Robert Downer Jr. in Gothica. In Gothica. That's true. So with ha- yeah, that's right. How about that? That's right. True story. Them. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You got also, another? Go I, I have more. I just real quick. I, I I really admired how grown up the breakup was in this mm-hmm. movie. Oh my gosh, actually, she is a champion. Yeah, she's the, yeah. But like it was like such a it was such a mature conversation and like she's not a Baxter and she's not like how dare you like I mean yeah, maybe she's maybe it's maybe it's unbelievable how It was almost too mature. Yeah, she yeah. was too good to in my opinion. Is, but yeah. given the choice, I yeah. would rather have people Correct. that sound like grown-ups having this conversation. And then yes, finally of course the final kiss which is the kind of kiss that gets you pregnant. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was serious. Um this just in Chris, matching Christmas PJs out, matching Christmas uh, uh, jumpsuits in. Uh, that is something that I will be bringing to my that house. Was Christian, uh, Christian, <laughs> Christmas fashion minute. Yeah, uh, they're out. Uh, Christmas by design, if you'll recall, this year gave us jumpsuits oh, yeah. that were also pajamas. Yeah. I, that that's that's strong. Yeah, I I like that the the a uh, uh, couple that uh, wears matching uh, Christmas jumpsuits together stays together, and I love that. Dan. Uh, and the kiss. Well, yeah, boy. The kiss, obviously. <laughs> still um, Jack stole mine. Uh, the character Ashley, who I now know is named Lindura, fantastic. She should get her a lead in one of these movies. There you go. Um, like, first time I, I've seen her in one of these movies, she should get a lead. She was excellent. Did a great job. Big fan. Oh, Big yeah. fan. Uh, all right, let's take one more quick break. We'll come back with the way one of the what the Hallmark here on Deck, Deck the Hallmark. Hallmark. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you're watching us on Philo, where you can watch this movie, all the Hallmark movies mm-hmm. we're talking about this week, the Lifetime movie we're talking about this week. A lot is going on on Philo, so hopefully you check, check that it out. out. Philo.tv slash DTH. Let's get to the Wait What, where we talk about uh, what this movie is going on. pretty airtight. What? This should be a quick set. It is airtight. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Jax, what made you go Wait What? 
a lot of things. I'll just share a couple because I, I think my boys will cover the rest. Um, when they're eating dinner and we see JJ's phone and it's 1043 a.m., <laughs> it, that's bizarre. And also his phone would definitely be on military time. Yeah, also. for so, sure. Because he's <laughs> because he's army. Yeah, he's army. He's army. <laughs> right. He's, ar- he's army. He's army. Um, the fact, not weird at all that he doesn't know her astrological sign, but pathetic that he doesn't know her birthday. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. And this was my other laugh out loud moment for the movie when Ashley is talking about that it's hard to date and meet people in LA because, (laughs) sorry. You're going to make it? (laughs) They think that she, the people that she would meet, thinks that they'll help her advance their careers because she works for the press. Mm. Oh, oh my lord! Thank you, my lord. That's that's what I'll that's what I'll end on. Yeah, uh, Alonzo. Yeah. yeah, as someone who works in the press in Los Angeles, let me assure you. No, no one cares. I'm still waiting on this relationship to uh, bring us something. We, that's why we kept him around this long, guys. It has yeah, not clearly. garnered us a single thing. <laughs> Playing the long game here. That's with right. All the yeah. Cloud. yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, you guys pointed out the, the putting the do not open for a decade on your time capsule is like putting back in 20 minutes on the front door of your store. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, man. What does that even mean? We couldn't um, just give a date. Why couldn't they say, don't open till December 25th, no. 2023? Why couldn't they do no. that? No. Well, because they want the this to rerun forever and not be tied down to a date. But, like, you, there are other ways to avoid showing the year. Every date has uh, a decade. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> it is 10 years from now. Exactly. Uh, she is going home for Christmas and is planning to go home for Christmas as this whole road trip laid out. And yet she has put up the biggest, most elaborate tree in her yeah. apartment. Yeah. It's like, you know, if you're not spending the holidays there, you're probably not going to unpack that entire huge thing and decorate it. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> um, Army. <laughs> this is okay like when i know more about dairy farming than the makers of a california christmas that's a problem yeah and when i know more about army than <laughs> these boats that's also a problem because i have never served but i can tell you several things that i know for sure a sergeant is not an officer <laughs> <laughs> ashley is the son of his commanding officer who he then refers to as sergeant Phil or something. Yeah. Nope. Sergeants nope. are not officers, and the first person to tell you that will be a sergeant. Oh like yeah. They, they are not officers. Then later he refers to himself as an officer in uniform. Oh my gosh, sir, you are wearing camos. That is not a <laughs> uniform per se. Maybe the employees at the uh, Army Navy store call their employees <laughs> officers. Could be at the supply sergeant. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I don't even the co-ed platoon dates uh, tense. I didn't have time to Google, but I just don't that that struck me as like, no, that's not a thing. Yeah. yeah, Her whole thing about being a a, a member of the press is hilarious. Uh, The the fact that he's he's keeping his discharge from the military sort of a secret, but he leaves the paper lying around in the hotel room. <laughs> he likes to read it to remind himself. <laughs> exactly. So you can remember. And then he keeps talking about how like Ashley understands this life. It's like, dude, you are in the process. You just left this life. This life. That's right. So yeah, none, none of that makes sense. Uh, okay. She tastes the mom's cookie. She's looking forward to, to having the mom's cookie and says, everything in L.A. is gluten-free and carb-free. Oh, it is not. <laughs> I assure you, it is not. There is a very, very popular Just, chain yeah. of cupcake places here called Sprinkles, and you could probably get things there that are gluten, gluten-free or carb-free. We're probably not car free, but believe me, there are plenty of L.A. is lousy with treats so that you aren't looking in the right places. Uh, if that's you, what you mean think. to tell me Los Angeles has a thriving culinary scene? Is that what you're saying? I, this is you know, news. You I don't think so. What? Uh, backwater that we are, but shockingly, Man, yes, unbelievable. we do. Uh, and yeah, and just just the idea that when they when they got home, the movie was not even halfway over. I thought it was that was brutal. I, I was losing my mind. 
Um, I got a couple. One, they get in the car and there's like the mm-t, mm-t, Christmas, uh, like a fun upbeat Christmas song. He it's turns to ch- bells. He turns to channel, and she, with a, and as serious of a delivery as you can have, goes, "Hey, that's my holiday jam," and I just <laughs> lo- love that line. And I, I I'm gonna keep saying it. Hey. That's my holiday jam. Um, is there some sort of big ginger rebranding I don't know about? Is is gingerbread trademarked? They throw around ginger spice left and right in this movie. Uh, at Christmas, isn't everyone, is it a gingerbread? Are we not allowed to say gingerbread anymore, Dan? I think ginger spice is a rebrand to help with pumpkin spice if they're doing it. Okay. Like ginger spice sounds mm. like a ginger spice coffee sounds better than gingerbread. But when I, th- like, when I think of something ginger at the holiday season, it's gingerbread. It they did say, they say ginger. Ginger spice, spice a lot. lot. Uh, her name is Jerry Hallowell. <laughs> okay, again, a joke for. Oh, her, her, is it the Spice oh, Girls? Jerry. Is that yes. is that? Wow, you knew Ginger Spice's real name? Who's, Honey, I know all five of their real. Who's names. Scary Spice? Who's Scary Who Spice? Who are you talking to? Scary. Who's Scary Spice? Go. Scary Spice is uh, is Mel B. Who's mm-hmm. Posh Spice? Uh, Vicky Beck. And that's on. <laughs> Victoria Beck. <laughs> Those are the only three I know. I'm sorry, I'm out. Oh, God. Baby is Emma Bunton, and Sporty is Mel B. I'm sorry, Mel C. Mel C. I'm sorry. They have multiple Mel's? Double Mel. Two Mel's. This is is overwhelming. You got to get with my friend. I um, 90s kids. You're supposed to know this. Sorry. I just have to. I just have to take a moment that we really need to (laughs) pay homage to that joke. That was so good. (laughs) That was everything I wanted and needed today. Didn't know I needed it. Didn't know. Brand Brand was like four when they were cool, and I was 14 and 100 percent was not into the Spice Girls. I know the one song though. If you want to be my I lover, love um, I want to give a oh, shout out song. to, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to this Mad Lib of a sentence that is delivered from the mom. Oh, this is fantastic. And this is a quote. All timer. I thought it was one of those teenagers trying to get me to donate my recyclables <laughs> to their hockey team. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought it was a teenager trying to get so to, to donate to my recyclables I mean, to a hockey team. I guess hockey teams can practice with like cans. Maybe that's what they're going for, but it's a mad live of a sentence they if just, I've ever heard they it. They spun the wheel for yeah. every verb and noun in that sentence. Yeah. I was one of those teenagers <laughs> wanting me to donate Extra. recyclables yeah. to the I did like the follow up of maybe if your team was better. <laughs> Sheesh. Um,. She gives JJ uh, coffee extra hot, which is his beverage of choice. Extra hot, Man, burn it right. You're burn insane. It. I'm like I'm one of those people that are like, can we get this a little bit cooler so I can start drinking it? Extra hot. That's a whole day I'm waiting on this coffee at this point. <laughs> Last but not least. They go to meet up at the spot that has the best view of the lights. Okay, so. They get to the woods and there are lights lighting up these woods. And I'm like, okay, this is a nice, I guess it is a nice place to see the lights. And then they turn around in the woods and we see the most amazing view of the city I've ever seen. And I'm like, oh, that's what they meant by the best view of the lights. I was like, yeah, someone put up lights in the tree in, in the in the woods. It's a really nice place to see those lights. It's now okay. it's all making sense. Not those to me. lights. Not it, those does, lights. Does her charming small town look like a metropolis yeah. at night? Yeah. Oh, I had that question. Yeah, where yeah, is that? That's like Nashville yeah. big. It right. was yes. a big city. Um, yeah. Dan. Um, I have never seen a movie more liberally overuse the word overseas to describe <laughs> an undisclosed location in my life. Where where was he stationed? Overseas. You know the place. Overseas. Guys, that could be literally anywhere, not in the United States, over an ocean of some sort. Like, and it doesn't help that his overseas bunkhouse is just like clearly the third floor of an office building that they put an American flag in one corner of and gave everybody dark green to wear. I, I have never, like, like they talk about overseas like it's it's a sacred word. Like, you say that to describe the place that army goes overseas. You yeah, know. Were you in Paris or were you in Kabul? That's There's right. A yeah. <laughs> Gosh, it looked like you were in Scranton, PA. It didn't look like you were anywhere overseas. What sea? Were you talking about the Delaware River? Like, what do you mean overseas? 
<laughs> Get out of town. That's absurd. We this is not fa- this way. What is not fair? And I'll say that ahead of time. Okay. We pause the movie on the opening shot where the title card's about to come up because <laughs> Bram wasn't there yet, and. There, but the, in the thing she's putting in the time capsule, there's a, a a note or like a piece of paper, and it says future predictions. Number one, Dad will have better jokes. <laughs> okay, one. That's your one. That's one <laughs> on your list. Two. I don't know if you know this. Typically. The jokes get worse. Like they, they don't get better. <laughs> that is a bad prediction. A, like a better tight five. Like when he's sixty, <laughs> you think Randy Thomas's material is getting better as he gets older? He's going to test it out on the road. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have to talk about this scene where they're sharing a hotel room. They're not sharing a bed, but they're sharing a room with two beds in it, and yet they put up a sheet divider. And classics tale as old as time. I'm sure he called the front desk lobby and said, hey, can you send up one rope, please? One <laughs> rope. If I could get one rope. Because this sheet is hung. They do it at the end of it happened one night, Dan. <laughs> but but do they hang it with a rope, a thick rope? Like, did, did they? is there like a, a Boy Scouts emporium down there? Like, how in the world did the, they're like, oh, do you need a toothbrush? No, we need a full-size rope, yeah. please. There are a lot of reasons why a hotel might keep rope handy, and that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> okay. All right. But now now we've done it. See, now we've done it. Spoken now, like someone oh, yeah, from L.A. Yeah. yeah. Los, that's just Los Angeles. Los Angeles for is you. That is. With yeah. your rope hotels that's and gluten-free snacks. Has jumped right, in the, jumped right in the gutter with the end of this movie. <laughs> and I can't believe Up is standing for it. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. The the bakery, the the baked good taster didn't already. Yeah, no, that's true. That's, that's fair. Break. That's fair. No, that's fair. That's fair. This made it more PG-13. Jax went full <laughs> R-rated. Uh, and I, I guess my big problem with the rope is how'd they get that to stick on the wall? <laughs> like, like I mean, did they hammer that bad boy in there? Like, I mean, come on, guys. I mean, they didn't. There's no hooks up there. No, the hotel, the, 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 it comes with the request. It's like, you're probably going to need this, I guess. We have the rope handy. We also have the hammer yeah. and nails for whatever weird thing you're getting ready to do. Um, he uh, When they get home, he's like, I got to go right away. And her mom says, no, you can't leave yet. I got out all your favorite board games. <laughs> Put them back up. I don't know. Like, did you did you take them out of the boxes and get like Monopoly all set up, or did you just take the box off the shelf and put it on the table? Like that is a that is a two second fix, Mom. That's a just put them put them back. Put them put, she put them back. Out all the cash that you get at like, the beginning of a game. I bring out Parcheesi once a year, and you're gonna make me put that right back on the big board. Really? I just set up backgammon and remember where they all go. Yeah. Um, he has a friend in town that recruits dudes that used to be in the army to work. But I think, and I was, I think I could be mistaken. I think he also has a very weird Christmas army basement. Uh, it's a room that is in the bottom because he also has a workplace, but he has this place that they go and hang out where it's like Christmas stuff and army stuff and American flags and it was looks, that the war museum? It, it, he's at mm. the he's at the war Maybe? museum late at night because he leaves this late at night. Like that last scene is what got me. The like war earlier, museum's in his basement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, this guy, our lead, said he has a military history degree, red flag, and that and that like <laughs> that, that also like he wouldn't be weird about being in a like a, a Christmas army basement war museum in someone's house <laughs> like the rest of us would be. Uh, he is sleeping in socks in this movie. I'd rather die. Maybe that's just me. That could be just me. Maybe people sleep in socks. I would like just absolutely not under any circumstances uh, sleep in socks. And uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's going to be it for me. <laughs> It's time for what the app is where we wonder what could have been. Maybe anything's in clarity questions you'd still have. Uh, Jax, what are you still wondering about after watching this movie? I guess my big thing is I'm still wondering how a, a woman like Ashley fell in love with a man like JJ. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm excited about the fact that, um, Morgan Cohan, who I really like from a lot of Hallmark stuff, is in a series called Sullivan's Crossing, and I just saw that Lindor is in nine episodes. Whoa! Oh, so okay. Get a chance to watch um, two people that I think are super talented in a series that I'm curious about, and yeah, I just I don't 
I don't understand how. Anyway, it was it was so puzzling. I'll be I'll be wondering about that for a long time. <laughs> yeah, <fair. laughs> it's clearly kept you up at night, uh, Alonzo. <laughs> Uh, so our L.A. lady does not really say for sure that she's moving back home until after he proposes to her. And I just wonder, like, oh is she completely on board for this? Or is this a, like, sure, yes, marry you. What, here? Fine. Great. Let's, yes. <laughs> I what L.A. never heard of it. I'm good, <laughs> you know. And I just it it just makes me a little skeptical. But you know, everything about this relationship has you know either question marks or red flags on it. So what are you going to do? Um, yeah, I mean, mine is: Are they still kissing? Is that kiss still going on? Because <laughs> uh, best I can figure, it was still going on when we were done with the movie. Oh so holy smokes! Uh, I think he's moved on to tasting her baked goods by now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Man, this is a Monday, Faith guys. And family. This is Monday at 3. We it's released tough. this Monday at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. People are on their drive to work <laughs> <laughs> this morning. Uh, Dana? Uh, yeah, so they find out that they're going on a road trip um, right before they go on the road trip. Like, literally, it's like, oh, the ring's in the thing. Guess we got to go on a road trip. And then the next scene, they're in the car. And she has a paper map. And I... I know there are people out there that have paper maps. I know that there are. Uh, is this character the type of character that just keeps with her a paper map? I, 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 that, that's what I want to know. Is, is that part of the energy she brings? Is I've got a, <laughs> I've got a paper map. <laughs> in you know, case, in L.A., we're all about that's right. analog. That's right. Yeah, 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 you guys, yeah. A lot of paper maps around there, for sure. Um, so that was, that was a little curious to me. That's it. That's what I got for you. Uh, we did, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, we'll be back next Monday with the Netflix movie, Best Christmas Ever. Ever. Uh, premieres this Thursday, and we'll be back next Monday to talk about it. Until then, maybe we're the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.